Well, today was the first day in pads, and uh, a lot of those long, young linemen stood out as aggressive and talented and uh, just uh, ready to go. And I was kind of uh, wasn't sure what to get the first day in pads, and they all look good. And so we're excited to have them here, and I think they'll be uh, great players here in the future. Details, just coach yeah. details. Just coach the small details that affect each player. All right, you're not coaching scheme as much. You're not coaching some of the fundamentals that they've mastered, you're moving on to the next phase of their development. So uh, we're real big on the specific details for each guy because everybody has areas to improve. So we're just trying to find each guy's specifics. Yeah, we're trying to be very balanced there and give both guys opportunities with the ones and the twos, get them equal reps. So at the end of three practices there, I think it'll be pretty equal in terms of passes attempted, you know, plays, with the ones, plays with the twos, but uh, just let them get out there, get comfortable, and, uh, you know, develop. JT wasn't around in spring ball, so he's, you know, caught up this summer, and now he's getting back on the, the field and, and enjoying being in front of the first unit, and uh, Cardell's actually, you know, doing a great job too, so just let it play itself out. Yeah, that's a great group. Uh, really pleased. They're big kids, but they're also very talented. They love football very coachable. They just have all the characteristics you're looking for. And and then when you see how big they are, I mean, it's kind of exciting. Then today they showed up first day in pads and they were ready to go and they weren't intimidated by the environment because we have a very good defensive line. And uh, so that was exciting. Those true freshmen? We could. We'll just have to see how it goes. But uh, definitely a couple of them have enough talent to do it. And then we'll just see how they go through camp and if they can sustain. They all look good today, but maybe uh, Isaiah Prince might be a little ahead of the others. Oh, we're very proud of Chase. I mean, Chase was a guy that came here as a defensive lineman, played offensive line. Then last year we had some issues, and he went back over to D-line and then uh, got injured. Then he came back to us on offense. So he's been a team, a program guy that's battled through adversity. Each position changes for the benefit of the team, and now he's got a home and a place and a unit, and uh, he's really flourishing in it. Well, he was really starting to come on two years ago, and then the needs of the team took precedent over, and he was a guy that had the skills to go over and pick up the D-line quickly and give us depth and help us there, and he did. And then injury struck, and then that, you know, it cost him a year. But uh, thank goodness we got him this year because he's, he's going to have a great year. Great attitude, great demeanor, energy guy, very athletic. Tackles. Yeah, right now Jamarco would be the next guy in, and then we're going to see who the next guard would be in. Um, it could be uh, Demetrius Knox, who didn't go in the spring, you know, and then uh, it could be Evan Lyle, or it could be one of the young guys, so we'll just have to see. Uh, no, I mean, I still focus on the offensive line when we're split apart, but then when we come together as a big picture and then meetings is a little bit different and just organization and uh, management of the staff and how we, you know, distribute jobs, but, uh, you know, there's a real big decision to be made down the road, so i got to kind of keep an eye on that, too.